Yaskawa. <laughs> Uh, the next function block we're going to look at today is read access parameters. The read access parameters is a collection of about 60 MC read parameters and uh, MC read bool parameters. And these function blocks are basically uh, the PLC open function blocks that are used to read parameters that are relevant to axes uh, that can be read from the controller. Uh, now, the read access parameter basically contains all, um, um, like I said, 60 different MC read parameters and MC read bool parameters, and it, it helps the user to read all relevant access parameters uh, using one single function block here. So you can read it all in one, um, one place simultaneously. The various inputs to the read access parameters. The first one is a familiar one. It's an access ref, so it uh, decides which access, access parameter needs to be accessed. Uh, the second input is a structure, and it's of uh, the, the, the data type of that particular variable is access parameter struct, and it is defined in the data types file of the PLC open toolbox. That's a structure that contains all uh, different uh, parameters that need to be read for that axis. The third input is axis type, and uh, this is used to define what kind of axis uh, we're trying to read parameters from. The different axes that are supported are servos, uh, variable frequency drives, steppers, virtual axes, and external encoders. Now, we made this uh, an input into this function block to optimize the performance of read axis parameters. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, this contains multiple, 60, up to 60 MC read parameters. So it may, not be, uh, it may not be optimal to read all parameters for all different types of axes at all times. Uh, for example, um, some, some parameters like uh, commanded position or commanded velocity, commanded torque or commanded acceleration, may not be relevant for external encoders because these parameters cannot be commanded for an external encoder. An external encoder can have only feedback. And uh, so if, for example, the axis that we are trying to read or access is an external encoder, then the code internal to this read access parameter function block uh, blocks it from reading uh, commanded position or commanded uh, acceleration because these commanded values are not available and would have given us an error if we tried to read commanded position or commanded velocity from an external encoder. So, uh, you know, so this function block basically prevents a user from wrongly trying to read parameters that are not available for a particular axis. And uh, so it, it helps you. It, it basically prevents a user from making mistakes or getting errors on trying to read parameters that are not available. Uh, the last input to this function block is param types. And uh, currently, we have three different types of parameters that we read. Um, the, the three types of parameters are basic parameters, status parameters, and cam parameters. Again, this input is for optimizing the read process for read access parameters. Um, for axes that are not synchronized or not being used in the synchronization process like camming or gearing, you do not have to read any cam parameters because they do not have cam parameters. Um, uh, for example, if there is a, uh, e even for camming applications, uh, the master axis in question does not have cam parameters. All the cam parameters are relevant only for slave axes. So, depending on the type of axis and the type of um, configuration we have for a particular axis, we can choose to read or skip reading a few of the parameters. And again, um, this param types input is a input that can be used to mask certain read functions. Let us look at an example where we are using this function block. Here's an example where I have a demo uh, program which has 
three axes connected to it, uh, configured on it. The first one is a servo axis, which is also a CAM master. And you can see that that servo axis has axis type zero as an input. It has also, and since this is a CAM master, I am not reading uh, CAM parameters for this particular axis, so I'm basically masking that particular bit in that word um, by uh, typing in uh, four, and four corresponds to uh, uh, one zero zero in bit land, and uh, it basically is masking my CAM parameter read. Since this is a CAM master, I do not have to read my uh, CAM parameters for that particular axis. Um, uh, my second uh, read axis parameters is for, an, for a virtual axis, which is a slave, a cam slave, and the axis type for a virtual axis is uh, three, and uh, I'm, I'm reading all parameters, basic uh, status and cam parameters, since this is a cam slave, it does have cam parameters relevant to it. The third axis I'm reading is for an external encoder, and I'm blocking out um, uh, everything except my basic parameters for this axis, for my external encoder axis. Uh, let us take a look at how these parameters show up on our, uh, on, the, on the watch window. Um, this is the list of all several parameters that I am trying to read, and you can see here it contains all uh, basic and uh, status parameters, uh, actual position, and uh, since I am commanding uh, position for my cam master. Uh, this is basically uh, the commanded position. And you can see here that this is a uh, linear axis that basically keeps um, going in a one, one direction. And uh, uh, the, pr the parameters that are being read using this function block are uh, listed in the help manual for the software for all axes. Uh, as it, it, they're listed as axis parameters and they're in the help manual uh, for the, for the uh, uh, function blocks. And this is a comprehensive list of all the parameters that can be read for, for a particular axis. Uh, for my virtual axis, which is um, a slave or cam slave, you can see here that uh, it has all the relevant position parameters and all command, uh, it, it probably does not have, oh yeah, it, this, since this is a cam axis, it does have all the cam parameters too that are getting updated every scan that this is being read since it's uh, enabled throughout. And lastly, we have the external encoder, and you can see for an external encoder, since I'm reading only the basic parameters, only a few parameters are getting updated here. Uh, it is important to note that if all parameters need not be read at all times, um, you should place, or, or you should never, one should be, remember never to place this read access parameter block in a very uh, high priority, fast task, because internal to this block, it is really reading all parameters at all times. So um, it is important to um, pick and choose or uh, wisely decide which task this uh, particular block should go into. Now, if there is a task that requires very um, high-speed updates of commanded position or actual position, um, one should use uh, an MC read bool parameter or MC read parameter in a fast task just to read that particular parameter and not put this uh, read access parameter into that block or into that POU, uh, which is getting updated fast, uh, because that can be uh, that can affect the uh, time that it takes for that particular POU to get uh, uh, processed. Uh, 